Hello folks, my good friend Rich Cove in England is starting to use Premier and I'm proud of him for doing that. And he has a question about doing some transitioning titles. <clears throat> and so I don't know for sure, Rich, if I'm gonna answer your question exactly the way you want, but I hope that I'll give you some info here that you and other people can use about doing titles and making them switch out. <clears throat> so I have just a very simple piece of video of me here. I have on a, a shirt with some pug hair and some lint and stuff on it, so it doesn't look so great. But at any rate, uh, this is me looking serious, and I'm talking about, I think, moving to Winston-Salem for the same uh, piece of video from last week. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some titles. As we can see, there are no titles here. All it is is a bit of video with the, from a GoPro with the regular audio and everything on it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna right click over here in this area. Now, folks, if your screen does not look like this as you're working in Premiere, what I do, I use this editing CS 5.5 view up here. Now, there are all kind of different views you can use. If you go up over here um, to window and you go to workspaces, there are different ones. If you don't have editing CS 5.5, I've had a few people tell me they don't. Let me know. I may actually just post a link to it. It's actually very good. Uh, I can, in other words, I can post a sample version of this video where you can just go download it and then you'll have the workspace. Once you've uh, opened it up, it will be in your in your Premiere workspaces. But most people, I think, still has editing CS 5.5. Uh, the, the, it's, it's just, to me, it's just what's most familiar. So that's the reason mine looks like this. So, you know, the, these, these same windows are going to appear at, in, in another place already, probably in your layout. So I'm in the project window. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say new title. Okay, and I'm just going to let it be called title one. It doesn't really matter at this point. So I'm going to pull it in and here's going to be my title. And uh, so a few things you might want to consider at first. Uh, if you've got your Premiere set up right, you have a lot of different styles here for uh, your letters and all here, drop shadows and things. If you're doing a thing called lower third, which is, you know, a, like a little bit of a, of a box or a shape or whatever like that and so that you can have more contrast then for your for your letters then I, I like to use these little presets and things down here with shapes like for instance I could go over here and I could take this uh, rounded corner tool or something here and I might pull that start from off the screen somewhere and go like this um, and matter of fact I could even pull it back off the screen so any of this over here and this gray is not going to appear you have to click on this pointer then you click on it and then you can start trying to different effects and things here see and and some of them are very weird and strange you might not want to use them but the point i'm making is you have all these different styles and things that you can use that work for letters that would also work for your lower thirds you just have to finesse them a little bit like this one here has a super thick uh uh outer stroke on it and I might decide that I want to go over here and change some of these settings then for that. And what you have to do, you have to pull down here and find the parameter that's been applied to it. That one's kind of a, probably a bad example. Maybe, maybe not. Size 22, look at that. So, so there, I found a parameter that was causing that very dark shadow and I can pull that back, see what I'm doing there. It's not so bad when it's that way. Uh, the color opacity is well, he have got it set for like 100%. I'm going to take that down soon. And maybe I want to change it to the square instead. Um, you know, I could, I could get rid of this one, delete that, and I could just go to a square. And then I think I probably still have that same look applied. If not, I can go and do it. But the, again, the point I'm making here is there are a lot of different cool sorts of things you can do using those things if you want to monkey around with them. Like I said, I didn't like that brown so much. Maybe I liked it a little bit. I found the place where that brown was. I looked for the color. Here's the, here's the yellow. And it looks like it has a six or something on it. I can make that smaller. So anyway, you don't have to use that at all. You can make your lower third system boxes and color them any way you want to. But these are some good little starting points. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put a font over the top of this. I'm gonna make a title here out of this. So uh, I, I've clicked on the uh, top tool there. And so I'm gonna make a little, little I'm just gonna drag a little area here. And I'm gonna say, um, Tony looking serious. Uh, now I'm gonna select that because I don't like that font and I don't like that treatment of that font. And I, I clicked on this A here. And any of these, this has Adobe Castle and I might decide I want something that's very common like Arial. And uh, so there we go, Tony looking serious. I've got the font size set to 64. I've got the aspect, I've got it, yeah, it's a small caps, 75%. Uh, 
all these different things you can do these things you can mess with any of these parameters and make these things look any way you want to do it you can click on uh, you once you get your your pointer your selection tool again here you can take these things and drag them around to whatever area you want so right now I've got a lower third that is not terrible that's kind of a silly title but you know hey that's what it's what it is now I can do a couple things here to transition these titles first of all I've got this is title one I'm gonna hit control s to save so I have title one I can click this new title based on current title right here and if I do this I can say uh, uh, title two I'll just leave it title two I'll say okay and now you see here look at what this is changed to title two so now title one's been saved it's off the board I can go here and I can say Tony looking uh, happy Let's make it capitalize again all right and I can uh, hit control save on that and then I can go and I can do an, a new title it's gonna go to title three or you can title these things whatever you want to call them and I'll call this one uh, Tony is let's see Tony is just weird and I can save that one so now I've got three titles that are basically all the same uh, and, and one could transition into the other and so I'm going to show you a couple different ways some stylistic things you might try to do I'm going to close this for a minute so now I've got three titles here and we can see the one two three of them so I'm going to go ahead and just pull all three of them in together and I, I, what I did, I selected the first one first, then the second, and then the third. That way they're all going to come in in the right sequence, right? So I've, if you zoom in on this, I've actually got three titles all slid together. Now, if I want these to transition one to the other, I can do a lot of different things. I can right-click here. I can say Apply Default Transition. And I have my default transition set to be uh, set to be a crossfade. So just watch what happens. I mean, the old Salem uh, area was all there. It kind of grew up out of a lot of... A business in the industry and agriculture uh, you know it used to be like a the center for Salem okay so there we go I just made those three cross dissolve now you, you can I'm gonna delete these transitions again one of the things Richard talked about maybe this one pushes the other out or they or they flip or flip in or out or something like that you can go over here and you can put spin I like to do cube spins a lot of times uh, let's see if a cube works on this though I might, I might be thinking wrong thing here let's try and see what happens a business in the yeah, end. that works doesn't it so I could do a cube spin here on each of these and then they're going to come in together a business in the end go from one to the other so. uh, yeah it used to be like a the center for sale now let's say I want this brown box or something to stay on the screen so I'm going to save this little bit right here I'm going to move forward a little bit but I just want the text to flip out I want the maybe the lower third to stay on there the brown box or whatever box I put on here let's make a new title so I'm going to say new title again and we'll call this title four is fine and so now I'm just going to draw one myself I'm going to take this this thing here I'll make a uh, another box here that goes kind of across this way and you don't have to use the box it can just be text titles there but as you can see it's real simple to go here and just pick a color and maybe you want to pick a color from uh, you can take your eyedropper here if you want to pick a color that's kind of common to the to the uh, piece of video you're using you can go up here and select a color and say okay so I pulled some yellow from up in here maybe I like that maybe I don't want this whole thing to be 100 percent uh, opaque maybe I want it to be about 80 percent or something there 88 percent looks pretty good so now there's actually you can see the action underneath this if you want to too so what I'm going to do I'm going to just save that right there and I'm going to hit control save and now I'm not going to do a, a new title based on this what I'm going to do this is kind of a, a cool way you can do this I'm going to go ahead and drag this new title four on here ah, if I can grab it let me grab it and pull it over here we go so now I'm just going to leave this on the screen for a while you see what I'm doing I'm just pulling it out and I'm going to let titles text change over the top of this so I'm going to say file new title right and so now I'm going to say title five and I could call it whatever I want to but here we go I will take my text tool again I will draw something on this and I will just say uh, this is title one Uh, I don't like that font, so let's just pick another font. I don't care if not 18th century. I don't know how they even came up that way. Do Myriad, M Y R I E D, Myriad Pro, and I usually like to do, uh, yeah, regular is good. So there we go. This is Title One. All right, so I'm going to just leave that as it is, 
uh, I'm going to save it. I'm going to do a second title based on that one. I'm going to call uh, this will well, be Title Two, but we'll call it Title Six. Okay, and we'll say this is Title Two, and we'll save that one. I can Control S again, and we'll make another one, and this will be Title Three, but we'll call it Title Seven. We'll say we'll just call this last title. This is last title. So the reason I did this this way is now I actually have two titles. One that is just a, bo a box that sits there and stationary. Then I can take four or five, and, or five, six, and seven here and pull them over the top of this. And you know, if you don't want to have them all butted one into the other, that's fine. You can go here and you can create some space in between so there's actually some blank in between there. I just, for what Rich kind of asked me about, I gathered he wanted them to like go one into the other. I'm going to pick instead of a uh, cube spin this time, maybe something like slide, let's see, or, or a slide, I've got band slide down here. Let's just see what happens. Or I can do push. Let's see what happens if I do push. And push might push the other one out, right? And uh, service driven, shop. That's not bad. We can put another push in there like that. Pin. Uh, it's, it's pretty bustling. Commu like I like say communication. Now, so what I've got, I've got the this bottom part staying static, and I've got this other part that slides totally off the screen. One of the things that some people like to do is like zoom in these things. So, and this would be this would be bottom. something kind of crazy. I don't know if you'd want to do this or not. Let me delete a few of these. Let's do cross zoom. C R O S S. Uh, where is it here? Cross zoom. That's a zoom really big. That might not look really a bad. Business in the industry. That's not bad, is it? We cross zoom that. Ah. Pull the zoom, cross the zoom over here like so. And so then you got this kind of effect. Look, first we could have we could have it apply, apply the default transition to the dissolve coming in. Uh, you know, it the, dissolves onto the screen kind of slowly there. Uh, you know, the old Salem uh, area was all there. It kind of grew up out of a lot of a business in the industry and it and agriculture. Kind of flipping around. Uh, you know, it used to be like a the center for Salem corporate. Yeah, not too bad, huh? So just some ideas of ways you can do titles. And you can build your own kind of lower thirds. You know, one of the things I haven't shown is that you can make your own lower third if you have Photoshop. Now, Rich is using Premiere. He may not have bought the entire Adobe Creative Suite package. But if you want to use Photoshop, this is something I do a lot for my lower thirds. Let's say I'm going to go get one of my photos. Or, or better yet, I'm going to show you a place I like to go to. Have you all ever heard of Wallpapers Wide? It's kind of one of my favorite uh, little uh, websites you go to where people are sharing wallpapers. So I'm going to go to W-A-L-L, wallpaperswide.com. You can see I go here all the time. So people put their wallpapers and stuff up, stuff up here for free. I'm going to, you know, there's all kinds of, you can just go here and see all the different things. It's beautiful pictures people have shared. But I'm going to go here and I'm going to search for background. That's kind of one of my secret weapons here, the wallpapers wide. And I'm going to find a background, maybe something that I like. And what you can do, you just go through here till you find one that you do like. These are a lot of fantasy type ones. I don't want them. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something more, just more like something like this maybe, or uh, so I can go with one more here. I gotta find something. This is kind of cool. I don't like this old paper background, so I'm gonna download that. I'm gonna click on it to download. And so here we go, and it does have the wallpapers wide uh, thing down here on the bottom of it. If I wanna use this for a lower third, I'm probably just gonna crop this in some way. I might use this and this and have a really nice looking textured lower third of some sort. So now I've got something I, uh, that I kind of like. I might not like that color, so I might say image adjust, uh, hue saturation or something like that. Maybe I'll flip it around and see, uh, maybe I want the, a kind of a bluish color or something like that, or purplish, and I don't want it to be quite so saturated or maybe quite so light. I can do that sort of deal right here. I don't know, pick some sort of color that kind of gets, gets me uh, inspired. Maybe that would work, not. And so I might go to image, adjust, a brightness, contrast as well. And maybe take some of the brightness out of it, maybe up the contrast just a little. And say, okay. Now I'll say file, save as. And I'll just put this on my desktop or something. Uh, desktop, and we'll call this, uh, we'll call this purple, lower third. Save and save it as a JPEG. JPEG is fine. I'm doing a level 10, which is fine. Let's go back to my video here. 
and let's say we don't want to draw some sort of lower third, we want to pull something in. So I'm going to double click on here and I'm going to go to my uh, desktop. I'm going to get the purple lower third and import it. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to pull that, that over here. And so there is the image. Now I can click on this. Let's say I want to use that for a lower third. I'm going to go to motion up here under the effects controls. And I'm going to twirl this down. And I'm going to bring it down. I'm, I'm going to pull it maybe left a little bit. Or here we go, like that. And let's say that maybe that's just a little too thick, right? It's a little too tall. So what I can do, I can do a scale here and I can tell it not to do uniform. And if I do not to do uniform, I can scale the height down, right? So I can do that sort of thing right there. Then I can bring it down even a little bit farther. Uh oh, not that way, but this way. So now I've got this lower third. Maybe I want to pull it back this way a little bit. And now I've got something else I can put titles over. So I can go back and get these titles, which, uh, you know, just reuse those if I want to, repurpose them. And there we go. And that's the way that would look. Now, each of these titles can be moved. So like say you want to click on this one title, and that title is a little too high there, right? And it's not centered. Maybe you want it centered more. I can go here and I can do a position on that. I can go down a little by just pulling left and right on this guy here. Maybe I can go over this way a little bit more. Maybe I like it like that, you know, something, something more like that. So now this one's in a different position than these other two are going to be, right? Well, you don't have to do this individually on each one of those. You can take the one that you have the way you like, and you can click on motion up here and do control C. And then you can go over to these two and you can do, you can highlight them and do control V for paste. Control C is copy, control V is paste. Now, if you go here, look, the other two have been fixed. I've been there in exactly the right place. And so now if I want to pick a different kind of a slide or something here, let's try slide IDE. Uh, maybe I want to do a band slide or I want to do, let's just do slide, see what happens with slide. I have no idea what this is going to do. I, there's a lot of transitions I just don't use to in Premiere. To do worse than, you know, to do better I, I, rather than, than Wake Forest. I mean, I know you got Duke and you so got Carolina right. and State and all these things around. But that's not bad. You can do that kind of slide there. Yeah, and it kind of just flips the one in and the other one out, doesn't it? That way you don't have to see it go off the screen in some weird way. And again, if you want to do your purple, you know, say you want, say you like the way that purple is and you don't want to really pull it all the way over this way. You just want to crop it a little. You can click on this. You can go over here and you can type in crop, C-R-O-P. So this is a tool I use a lot. I'm going to put it on the purple lower third. Let's say I want to, I want to go from the right and I want to pull that in a little bit more like that right there. Now what I've done, I haven't, I haven't moved the position of this purple. I just cropped part of it off. And so if you go here left and right, you can see there's, there's a whole lot of that. I'm not, I'm not actually moving that at all. So now I've got a lower third that looks a little more cool with that title. So there you go. Folks, just some ways you can work with lower thirds and with text and with transitioning that text. Uh, I hope this has helped someone. There's a lot more advanced ways we can go into this, but this could, should get someone started at least with the principles and give you the ability to start toying around with it and learning more. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to my channel if you like. If you have specific questions, I'll try to get around to answering them. It's a lot of fun. I, my best videos come from from your suggestions. So thank you for asking those questions. Rich, hope you're digging this video and it helps you out with your titling, man. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like.